We are back now with Alice Rivlin, senior fellow at the Brookings Institution, a former vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, talking about the deficit. Dr. Rivlin, before the break, you told us that we need to start cutting the deficit now on a long-term basis because we don't know when investors will lose patience and start to bid up U.S. government bond yields. The question I have for you on that subject is this. To what degree are the Fed's actions distorting yields in the bond market? Do we really know the 10-year government bonds should be trading at a 2.6% yield? Well, we don't uh, know perhaps as much as we would if the Fed weren't uh, in the market, uh, but uh, right now it's uh, not buying in a big way. I think uh, the kind of uh, bond market panic that might happen uh, if uh, people uh, who buy bonds and a lot of other people uh, realize that uh, we were on a shaky basis, we the United States government for the long run, uh, would defy any Fed action. Dr. Rivlin, one last question for you. When we look at ways to cut the deficit, there are any number of options. People talk about waste, people talk about excessive spending, but there are so many sacred cows. If you look at the options, where should we prioritize our efforts? The only answer to that is all of the above. Uh, in the long run, we have to rein in health care spending. Uh, it's uh, going to be a problem for a long time because people want health care and it's expensive, uh, but it can't go on rising as fast as it is. Uh, we have to uh, do something uh, on the tax side, reform, simplify the tax code uh, so that it uh, brings in more revenues with less distortion. Uh, we have to do a lot of things. Uh, there's no single answer. That's the whole problem. Uh, we, everybody is going to have to uh, take their lumps to solve this problem uh, that affects us all. Because if we don't do it, we'll all be in the soup. Well, strong medicine seems to be required. Dr. Rivlin, thank you for joining us. Alice Rivlin, former vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, founding director of the Congressional Budget Office, and a uh, senior fellow, excuse me, at the Brookings Institution.